So for the analytic differentiation, we have another example that f of z is equal to e power z that is nothing but e power x into e power i y e power x e power i y is nothing but cos a cos y plus i sin y that is nothing but equal to u plus i v. Okay. So therefore u u is nothing but e power x cos y v is nothing but the imaginary part e power x sin y u x is equal to e power x cos y v u y equal to minus of e power x sin y and v x is nothing but this because with respect to u uh, with respect to x you are differentiating so e power x is nothing but e power x only and with respect to y if you differentiate the cos y is nothing but minus sin y so e power x is nothing but constant so minus e power x sin y similar fashion with imaginary part of v v is also written as v of x is equal to e power x and sin y and v y is nothing but again e power x cos y because sin y differentiation is nothing but cos y now you will try to find out ux equal to vy or not ux equal to what vy e power x cos y so ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx because this minus is there so you can say that minus vy ui equal to minus vx whenever ux and uy and vx are continuous on function and you can say ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx therefore f of z is nothing but e power z is differentiable on c so when cr equation is satisfied we can say that it is differentiable on c therefore f when is it, it is a differentiable we can easily say that f of z is nothing but analytic throughout the complex plane so this is what so whenever it is analytic function is there in a throughout a complex plane then that function is nothing but called as an entire function so entire function definition says that if f of z is analytic throughout the complex plane then f of z is said to be an entire function or integral function means a function which is analytic and differentiable means differentiable means analytic so whether it is analytic then we can say that it is sad it is nothing but called as an entire function so example we'll see f of z is equal to e power z is an analytic function throughout the throughout c therefore e power z is an entire function similar fashion f of z equal z cube z cube is nothing but x plus i by whole cube that can be expanded in the form of like this again you can say that u plus i v where imaginary part is taken as uh, uh, sorry real part is taken as x cube minus 3x square 3x y square imaginary part is taken as 3x square my y minus y cube and this is u and this is v and again we'll try to find out ux equal to vy or uy equal to v minus vx so if you differentiate you got as the same thing that ux is nothing but equal to vy and uy is nothing but minus vx after differentiation with respect to x after differentiation with respect to y so therefore it's a satisfying cr equations since this ux uy and vx vy this is all nothing but continuous then f of z is nothing but uh, differentiable Therefore, when it is differentiable, it is analytic. When it is analytic, we can say that f of z is equal to z cube is an entire function. So, this is an example for this. So, p of z is equal to a naught, a naught, a1 of z, a2 z square. This is also another example that is a polynomial which is also nothing but a, a differentiable, differentiable and it also satisfies the CR equations. Therefore, it is also a, an entire function. So, p of z is also an entire function.